So this might have been a little bit difficult because you don't know what a baseball diamond is? I don't really know. It's just a square, really, I guess. Okay. Um, it's also one, one of the biggest pains um, in the butt on this problem is I'm giving you miles per hour and also feet. So we got to do a conversion. All right. So let's just draw our baseball diamond. It looks something. No, I'm not going to mess with conversions here. All right. I mean, it's something you should be able to do. We'll go over it a couple times, but no, on a, on a test, you'll, you'll be safe from that. Okay. So this is my, let's try this again. This is a terrible square. Eh, this is not much better. Anyway, in the real baseball diamond, it turns out that the mound is not right in the middle of the square, but in our mathematical one, it is right in the center of the square. Okay. So here's what's happening. This is the picture right here, this little dot, and he's throwing home, home plates down here. Cool. That's what it looks like. Boom. Okay. And he's throwing the ball that way. How fast is that ball moving? 100 miles an hour. Okay. And we want to measure as the ball is moving the distance from the ball to first base. So at any point where this ball is, the distance to first base, which is over here, is that. And you can see here that with the, the, the pitcher's mound to first base to home plate will always make a right angle right there. Okay. It turns out, it doesn't really turn out, but as the ball is moving further, further down, like the triangle is just growing. Do you guys see this? And we want to know how fast is the hypotenuse of that triangle growing, the distance from the ball to first base, right when it crosses home plate. Okay? So right now in this triangle, so let me, let me redraw this here. The triangle we're really looking at is right here. Okay? Where this is home plate down here, and this is first base. Okay? Now, the problem is it's not just that square. That would be really uninteresting. Nothing would be changing. It's not just that rectangle or triangle. Ugh. All right. This side here is changing, so I got to call it something. I got to call it X. How fast is that side changing? <laughs> <laughs> That's DX DT, and it's changing at 100 miles an hour. We want to know how fast this side is changing. That's the distance from the ball to first base. Okay? And the, from the pitcher's mound to first base, that's not changing. That's a constant length. And let's just, so kids earlier didn't know this rule. If you take a square and you cut it diagonally, and this side's 4, the diagonal must be 4 root 2. Always. You can do Pythagorean theorem if you want, but it will be 4 root 2. That's a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Okay? Now, the reason why that might matter for us right now is because... If we take this square and we slice it in half, hey, and we slice it, what the heck just happened? Oh, man, that's funny. I just deleted the baseball diamond. Uh -huh. Okay. If we, if we slice it that way, that length from third base to first base should be 90 root 2. With me? 90 root 2. Because the bases are, are, are 90 feet apart. Like, this is 90 feet, this is 90 feet. Okay. So 90 root 2. So from the pitcher's mound, which fictitiously is right in the center of the square, it should be 45 root 2. So that means this side here is 45 root 2. What's up? Yeah, 90 root 2 cut in half is 45 root 2. We just said if you take the diagonal of a square, it's always the side length times root 2. Okay? Again, you can also just do Pythagorean theorem if you really want to. All right. So, we know how fast x is changing, okay? We just said dx dt is 100 miles an hour, which we're going to have to change, okay? 100, 100 miles an hour. We want to know what dz dt is. That's the big question here. That's our, that's our goal. So, we need an equation that links x to z, and that is going to be the Pythagorean theorem, okay? We know that x squared plus 45 root 2 squared has to equal z squared. No matter where that ball is, that has to be true. And deriving that's super duper easy. We're going to get 2x dx dt is equal to 2z dz dt. Because the 45 root 2 squared is a number. You derive it, you just get 0. And we're going to plug in all the stuff we know. All right. Do we know what z is the moment that ball crosses home plate? From home to first, how far should that be? It's 90 feet, okay? 
So we're not supposed to know dz dt, right? That's what they're asking us to find. Z is 90 feet. This is a 2 here. dx dt is 100, and that's a common mistake in a question like this, just to put 100 in there. Because it's not 100, because we're doing feet. So we got we to convert that out. Okay. But x, what's x going to be? It's not 90. 45 it's 45 root 2. Because it's from the center of the square to, to the vertex. You can't plug in numbers. You plug in numbers after you derive. Yeah, but there's a number in the first... Uh... Because it's not changing. Oh, okay. Cool? Constants go in, but anything that's changing has to be a variable because you want to get the derivative in there. Okay? So x, again, is 45 root 2. But unfortunately, dx dt is a pain in the butt, and we've got to switch it to feet. Okay, and because feet per hour is going to be, so 100 miles an hour is going to be a whole lot of feet per hour, right? So I'm going to switch it to feet per second to make it a smaller number. Okay, so we're going to multiply it by, you with me here? We're going to multiply this by, to switch from miles, we know that one mile is 5,280 feet. You are supposed to know that standard unit, yes. One mile is 5,280 feet. 5,280 feet. Right now it's feet per hour. But I want to switch it to feet per second. So I'm going to multiply by the fact that one hour is 3,600 seconds. All right. So let's do this. Check this out. We can, we can simplify this down some. Look. Shh. Hours are going to cancel. Miles are going to cancel. These two zeros will cancel with these two zeros. True? This is basically 5280 divided by 36. All right? You with me? What goes into 5280 and 36? Six goes into 5280? Five. Six does go into 5280. Okay? Hold on here. Four. Six goes in. Four goes in. There's lots of numbers that go in. Pick one to simplify it down. 12 will work, okay? Let's just do, let's just do six, all right? And then, and then we'll divide it again by two. So look, 36 is gonna become a six. How many, this is how you do this. <laughs> how many times six go into 52? Not eight. It goes, watch, watch what happens. It goes in eight times with four left over. How many times does it go into 48? Eight. Eight, eight with zero left over. How many times does it go into zero? Zero. 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 I'm sure you've seen this before. It's 880 over 6, and then we want to divide both of those by 2. Which is what Solani just said. What did you just say? 140 something? Yeah. So fractions are going to be more, more useful for us, even though you probably think decimals are nicer because you're primitive calculator. Fractions maintain accuracy, and then you can also, they cancel out nicer than decimals do. Multiplying without a calculator with decimals is a pain in the butt. But fractions, things end up canceling out a little bit. So anyway, that's dx dt. We're going to put that in, 440 over 3. Okay. Um, first period is going to be upset with me because I forgot to switch from miles per hour to feet per second. So that's all right. They had the wrong answer. They had the wrong answer. <laughs> they did. It's true. Um, <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Teacher of the year, you know. Uh, anyway, look, look. So look, we got to solve for dz dt. Before we do this, let's cancel some things out. Check this out. 90. You can divide 90 from both sides. That's going to cancel the 2 and the 45, right? We can divide 2 on both sides. That's going to make the 440 a 220. Okay with that? And then the only thing left on the right-hand side... True, true. Well, dz dt on this side, mooty. Right hand side, mooty. And then the left hand side is 220 root 2 over 3. And I didn't leave myself any room for units. And that is in feet per second. Feet per second.